Hey guys, it's Katie and Dave here with RN RV Chronicles, and we are doing a medical, medical, medical Monday. Monday. We're gonna do it together today. Yeah, I have a, a sidekick. An assistant. Assistant, is that what you are? I guess. This is my assistant, David. Yes. And I'm Katie. So today we're going to talk about kind of what's up for our plans, what's going on with my next assignment, or actually what's the lack of not going on <laughs> for my next assignment. <laughs> As everybody knows, I think we, we kind of touched on it a little bit about um, like maybe one or two videos back, uh, travel nursing is actually becoming very, um, what's the word I want to use? The market is saturated with nurses and there are fewer and fewer jobs being posted and the jobs that are being posted are a remarkably less A lot money. of them. Not all. Not all. But a lot of There's them. some good jobs out there and if you're a travel nurse and you know of some good jobs, let us know. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, but we've said this before. I mean, we're not doing this for the money by any means but the truth is we have to survive we have bills to pay <laughs> and um well the point is is that what being a travel nurse i don't know if everybody if all of our followers understand being a travel nurse and we'll just touch on it real quick whenever you're a travel nurse you have a home base which you have a taxed home so we have a, a home back here in pennsylvania now we sold our home but we rent a place uh, so we have that, plus we have our RV and our expenses, you know, for RV and cost of living when we go somewhere else. Other nurses uh, will elect to just rent a place or take staff type housing that the, that the agency will give them. Now with that, there's a tax credit. If you don't have a tax home, you can't take the tax credit. And the reason why you're getting that tax credit is because you have to pay for two places to live. The issue now is that the, 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 the paid wages are so low that staff nursing, staff nursing is making more than if Katie would travel to a specific place and have to pay for two homes to help the hospital out. It's become that ridiculous. Uh, and a lot of people are starting to figure it out and they're bailing out of it. Um, but what's happening is that you have a lot of nurses that are now coming in that are fresh, that have no idea, no clue. They, they'll just take, they'll take anything. They'll take it. They don't care. Five bucks an hour. Give it to me. I'll take it. You know, and it's not that bad, but it, it's kind of crazy. He's exaggerating a little. But and we're not saying we're bailing. Uh, we're still looking. We're still researching. We're still trying to find something. Um, but it's getting kind of bad. You know and. So I don't, so I've got three weeks left of this assignment. I'm now on my fourth extension. <laughs> we will not extend it any longer. So as of now, my last day is September 26th. And um, we will be taking off for, uh, as of now, our plans are to go to Arizona, back to Mesa where we were last fall. Now that could all change, I don't know. But those are our plans, and hopefully a job will come up along the way. Yeah. Somewhere, we just really have to trust and believe that there'll be something that pops up uh, for a fairly decent And we have a really good um, recruiter. Recruiter. I don't want to say agency. It's, it's okay, agency. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm not going to. It's, it's kind of like good. in the mid-ground, maybe a little bit higher than mid but our agent, uh, she really makes it. And yeah, uh, she's if she's awesome. watching this, kudos to Thanks, you, Jordan. Jordan you're... <laughs> I know sometimes we don't always see eye to eye, but business <laughs> is business, and <laughs> we really do like this girl. Yes. She really does work uh, good with us. In fact, I was talking with a, another guy um, from another agency, I'll just put this in, and uh, they were just consistently throwing out super low, like really <laughs> low um, packages. And Jordan consistently beat them without even any effort, not even trying. She didn't even know about it. And she would consistently beat them. And uh, so far, even if Jordan ever leaves, we want to follow her wherever she goes. So, yeah, we really enjoy working with Jordan. She's very good. 
Yep. So. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, we know it's kind of boring right now. Um, I mean, really, we're kind of up in the air on on kind of like what to do because it's really. We just don't know where to go right now. Yeah, and I'm thinking about, I've been lately on another subject, um, starting school for my NP. Yeah. I'm strongly considering family nurse practitioner, and um, I've been researching it, talking to the Patty Wagon, who's a really great source of information. If you haven't talked to I bet. Patrick at the Patty Wagon about nursing. We'll put a link to his channel in the Talk description. Him. Check him he's out. Awesome. He's awesome. He's a great guy. So he's given me some good pointers and I need to continue to do my research. I'm kind of at a dilemma. There are days I go to work and I love my job and I love my patients and I love what I do. And then there are days that I go that I can't stand my job and I can't, I just want to get out of it altogether. And I know probably everybody at every job, um, has those kind of days where they're like, get me out of this place. <laughs> um, but I'm, you know, just thinking, I don't want to do bedside nursing forever. I don't want to do travel nursing forever. So I'm trying to um, come up with a more long-term plan. And nurse practitioner seems to be a good way to go. Now I just need to uh, get myself motivated to get it started. I know if I don't get started I won't get done so I am trying to get motivated to get started but also it kind of puts a wrench in travel nursing because once I get my NP I can't really travel anymore at least not in the beginning of my practice so I don't know I don't know we'll figure, we'll figure it out I'm just kind of up in the air so if anybody has any suggestions or advice or any experience with going from bedside nursing to uh, NP let me know um, how your journey went and yeah. give me any advice that you might have so yeah appreciate that um, that's basically all we got today yeah and thanks for joining us yeah and if we if anybody has anything that they want to you know comment and share with us to help us kind of figure out what to do and just you know where to go I mean we, we've been trying I think I'm, I'm sorry I'm going back to our beginning but we want to follow the weather, mm -hmm. uh, but that may not be possible this yeah, it's winter. It's starting to get cold here. I mean, we're in Pennsylvania, and I've had my sweatshirt on all day, and it's cold, but it's kind of a nice cold. It's just an autumn yeah. chill, like crisp autumn day, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's and the other thing about following the weather is kind of hard because you're going to places where... A lot of people want to go, you know, the sunny places in the yeah. winter time. So everybody's trying to get there. And Although I know there are some few of you, maybe more than I think, that actually like the winter and want to go to the snow places. I know travel nurses do that as well. But um, yeah, we actually have a, a fly fisherman coming up. <laughs> the creek right behind us. Yeah, here. if you we have this really nice creek, it runs right behind our our rig here, and. Um, He's back here doing some fly fishing, so maybe I'll get a little shot of him if he doesn't mm -hmm. mind being on YouTube. Anyways, um, and that's pretty much it. So That's it for now. Thanks so, for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Share and comment. Bye for now. Bye for now.